Hello there, PPC heroes. Today we're going to cover a little bit about universal analytics and demystifying the change that is upon us. Some of you may have heard that universal analytics is coming through, and my sneaking suspicion is that it's going to be a little bit like the enhanced campaign transition, where for a while it seems strange and wondrous, and then you start getting the nudge to actually consider transferring your accounts into this new uh, layout, and then eventually it's not going to be a choice anymore. They're just going to say, we're just going to switch on over and, uh, and it'll happen. So today we're just going to go through a couple steps in actually seeing what this is going to look like and hopefully demystifying a little bit for you. The first thing you want to do is actually log into your analytics account. So this is pretty simple and most of you have probably done this a thousand times. But what you're going to do is actually take a look at your property because what you're going to see most likely is the Universal Analytics Upgrade Center. This is something that Google has come up with to help us understand how the transition is going to work and make it as painless as possible. If you've already tried to transition your account, uh, you may have seen a couple different ways that you can do it. And a lot of us have tried doing it ourselves just by going in and creating a new property uh, that we just associate with Universal Analytics. But now that Google is actually going to be integrating the data that it's collecting with Universal with the old data, you can just go through this easy step-by-step -step process, which is what we're going to do today. So once you're ready to actually begin the process, we're going to go ahead and select Universal Analytics Upgrade, Transfer in Property. Now that we're in the Upgrade Center, you can see that Universal Analytics is starting to actually lay out what they want you to know about this whole transition. So there's details about what exactly the process is like, and really what you're going to need to do is select to, to transfer to Universal Analytics and implement the new tracking code. And what that's going to do is actually provide you with the code to put on your page. And there's a little disclaimer here that it's going to take a little while for it to all get, uh, to get up and running and everything, but that you don't need to worry about the fact that you're actually going to be switching over to a whole new set of code, that it's going to integrate flawlessly and that you won't lose any of your data. Now once you start this process, You'll have to wait a little while, but you can start to look into what your settings are. Uh, for example, the tracking info, there's actually going to be a tracking code that you're given, and here it kind of reminds you that you're just going to have to wait a second before you're going to be able to upgrade it. Now, about Universal Analytics, there are a few different warnings that we've been getting. One, and I would say probably the biggest issue at this point, is remarketing through analytics. Uh, and now, when you started being able to do this, I know a lot of people were really excited about the options and really... Um, how finely tuned you can get with what kind of remarketing efforts you're doing. If you are currently using remarketing through analytics and not just the traditional AdWords, I would strongly recommend holding off on this process. Uh, at this point, you really can't do remarketing through analytics with Universal. So, and I think actually if you take a look here, you're going to be told it's not actually available. So that's something to keep in mind as you're considering what you're going to do with Universal Analytics. But right now, I would say hold off on it. One of the cool things that you're able to do, however, is create your own custom dimensions and custom metrics. And this is something that a lot of people talk about. And so today, we're just going to go through a little demo on what exactly you can do with this. Because there's a lot of information about just the very general, uh, you can track more things, you can get more integrated data. But really, what does that mean? And so today, we're going to talk about exactly what that means. So your custom dimensions, you get to choose your own dimensions. Now this is where it gets a little developer heavy. Um, if you're not completely familiar with what custom dimensions are versus maybe custom metrics, custom dimensions are uh, basically something that you want to measure, some kind of interaction, some occurrence that's going to happen on your site that you want to be able to associate some sort of value or some sort of quantification with. And then the custom metric, that's actually your opportunity to do that. It could be, um, it could be some sort of currency. It could, have, it could be some sort of um, time period that you're tracking. It could be any kind of value. So the metric is actually going to be that specific quantification. And then the dimension is going to be uh, figuring out exactly what other things you want to track besides what Google is going to just suggest to you. So today, one example I'm going to give you is something we could use on PPC Hero, which would be the um, association of readers with the actual author responsible for the post. So I'm going to say the author is going to be my new custom dimension. 
So I would basically just go into this little field, type in author as the name of my custom dimension. Here as your scope, I'm actually going to go ahead and hit and use hit as my scope and then active, I'll say yes. So I'm going to go ahead and create this. Now having created this new dimension, you can see that we now have a code snippet associated with it. So you would basically just choose the one that is most fitting with your platform and alter some of the, the information here and upload it. Now one thing I want to make sure I mention before we go any further is that when you go in to create a custom dimension or custom metric, this is something that you can't actually delete once you've created it. You can go in and change it, you can alter it, you can kind of edit what it is that you're working with, but just say so that you know. Uh, when you go in to build it, it's something that you won't be able to pull back out. As we discussed, another option is to create a new custom metric. So similarly, this is going to be you articulating to Google Analytics exactly what it is that you believe is going to be um, important for you to track. So in the same way, we're going to create a new custom metric. And it would be just like creating the uh, author dimension, except for in this case, we're actually saying this is how we want to measure what it is we're tracking. So here we would just create a simple custom metric such as author page view. And the formatting type, what you can see is that my options are, am I measuring a period of time, am I measuring amount of currency associated with this action, or am I measuring an integer? And because we're doing page views, we're just going to do a single integer. So minimum value, we're just going to call these one and one, and active. So we're going to create this. And once again, you're going to see the code that is going to be associated with this value. So you'll go in and you'll alter some of the names for it and then upload it to your site. So once you've created your custom metric, you'll be able to actually see it here in the listing of um, what you've done and how it's going to measure it. Another option to be noted is the ability to import your data. So this is an option for you to use the custom metrics and custom dimensions you've created to actually use data that you've collected either through your CRM or through some other platform and integ integrate that into your analytics data. Uh, additionally, there are some CRMs that actually do integrate with Google Analytics, which is fantastic because if you've got a lead gen client that's collecting all sorts of data that then has to come through you, that then you set side by side with what you're seeing in analytics, that can be uh, a bit cumbersome. So one of the great options that you've got with Universal Analytics is actually connecting the two so that they communicate with each other without a lot of human interaction. So while that's a bigger fish to fry, that is something that's coming down the pipeline, which is really exciting for those of us who do a lot of taking data from separate sources and putting them into one pile. So all of this has been a bit of a brief overview of what's part of the universal analytics transition process. Like I said, you'll need to go in and transfer your property to a universal analytics account. You'll be given a new universal analytics code that you'll then need to place on your site. And then you'll need to just build out what exactly it is that you want to track. There are a lot of resources out there uh, as far as Google support docs and developer guides, things that can help you take advantage of some of the fancier features, but really the biggest, uh, theme that we're seeing is that this is something that's going to be coming out and affecting all of us at some point. So when enhanced campaigns came through and some of us were getting a little nervous about transitioning over, uh, what I can tell you is that some of us jumped into it early and started kind of figuring out what our opportunities were going to be. So whether you're one of those uh, account managers who's going to just push through and start transitioning their accounts into Universal Analytics, or if you're going to be a little more conservative, hang back, get more uh, information and more stories from the team here at PPC Hero and from the uh, professionals out in the industry, either way you have a good starting point to begin that process. We'd love to hear from you, hear your experiences, your tips, any custom metrics or dimensions that you deem to be pretty important for tracking and following with your users. Uh, feel free to reach out to us at ppchero.com. And we'll see you next time.